Good morning dear students. Today we are going to discuss about a simulation experiment on RC coupled amplifier. Okay. Common emitter amplifier. First of all we have to open the ORCAD capture. So it is already opened here and next we have to create a new project for that we are going to file and we have to type the name here that is RC coupled amplifier. Wait. So this is the project name and location is selected here as D and OK. Then create a blank project OK. Then we have to draw the circuit diagram for that we have to select the part for that we have to click P on the keyboard so this window will be appearing. Part is first we, we will select so part is click P then type the part first we are selecting the transistor BC 107A type BC 107A then click OK and place that part by dragging it on the screen and then escape then we have to draw other components we know that it included a voltage divider network it contains different resistors so click type R and part search R will be appearing Resist different resistors will be appearing here we are selecting R analog OK then click OK so resistance will be getting and we can rotate it by clicking R we can place we have in the voltage divider network we need sorry DC biasing network we need four resistors so copy all the resistors there click uh, then escape also on the output side also there is a resistor so all together we need five resistors in the circuit and then escape and we can gen, uh, join these resistors by uh, clicking W that is wire and we can drag the um, uh, wire from each of the node of the uh, from each of the nodes so we can connect it together escape click W and drag the wire from the node to one uh, node of one component to the node of other component ok then the wire will be uh, now the circuit is wired next escape then we can select capacitor C and then capacitor uh, we have to select and that is coupling capacitor CC so, so search for the capacitor so okay uh, we have selected the c electrolytic capacitor so c e l e analog we are selecting then click ok then drag it to the place where we needed it. and wherever we need uh, the capacitor we can click there so the capacitor will be there now also we need uh, in the emitter side also we need another capacitor so we are clicking there then we can play escape click escape then we can wire it by pressing W and drag the wiring part from one node to other node ok in wiring you should be careful uh, that all the wires should be connected from one node to uh, the other node of the uh, components ok there should be connection ok otherwise we will not get the result ok so we are connecting it by using the wire Okay, now wiring section is completed. Then escape. Uh, then we have to click the resistance value. We have to uh, okay. We have to name the resistors with its corresponding values. So we have to first right click there, double click there, and we have to type the values. So uh, for uh, typing the values you should be aware of the circuit diagram ok. So that we have discussed in the experimental uh, side in the same um, uh, lab ok. 
so the capacitor value is 10 microfarad ok another capacitor is having value 10 microfarad so now we have so now we have uh, the capacitor bypass capacitor uh, having value 22 microfarad so click 22 microfarad and ok so values we will uh, type it uh, there so we have to first click on the particular component and we can type the values ok now the circuit section we have to uh, uh, input with VDC ok Sometimes uh, the value VDC will not be included in the library, so we, you have to search like this. So we have to drag the wiring session. We have to uh, wire it. Here we are giving the VCC value uh, by using VDC. Uh, so here the value is 12 volt. Then click OK. For, uh, for the RC coupled amplifier, we need an input frequency or input sine wave. For that, we are taking V sine or V S in. So, you have to search like that, okay? Then we have to give the voltage values for double click there. And then we can enter the values. V offset is 0 value. Amplitude values 20 millivolt peak to peak. So 20 m okay then frequency is 1 kilohertz for that we can type 1000 okay so next we have to place the ground you can select the ground from there and drag it there and then escape and wire the ground then escape okay so now the uh, the circuit drawing session is over next we have to uh, place the nodes uh, for input and output before that we have to go to pspice new simulation profile and we have to type rc common uh, rc coupled okay that's enough then create then uh, for seeing the output waveform we have to fill this session and here we are putting the values run to time 3 milli then we have to place the node after that one node is placed at the input side that uh, for seeing the input waveform and another node is placed at the output side for taking the output waveform ok and also we can uh, name the input and output for that we are clicking alias first v input input side v input and for uh, also we can click the um, uh, alias we will type v output v output so that waveform will be named by this one v input and v output so we can identify the input and output waveform okay now we can uh, now the circuit section is complete we can simulate or uh, run this program click there run piece by piece and we can see the waveform now the waveform input waveform you can see the names as v input and v output there and it is on the same graph and if you can hear that input is 20 millivolt peak to peak that is why um, it is smaller amplitude you can see it in the green color and output is red color okay for seeing the input and output in different uh, windows you can go to the plot add plot window and you can uh, go to the trace add trace and v input and v output you can separate v input ok and now you can delete the v input from the lower diagram ok now the input and output you can separately view the input and output you can see here that both are not the same amplitude input waveform is 20 millivolt peak to peak and output waveform you can say that it is of volt range that means it is amplified that is based on that is based on our design and how much gain is uh, we are giving like the way we will 
so now we have also uh, in the case of rc coupled amplifier we have to plot the frequency response for that we have to change this source okay for that double click on this source sorry for that delete this source okay first so, uh, right click on this and delete it so that source is deleted also um, we have to delete these wires and we have to connect this vac okay that uh, we have choose from the place a part okay for that we have to click p and you have to uh, type vac okay so uh, now uh, it is already done and it is placed here we have to keep it here of before that we have to delete these wires okay double click here or otherwise you can go to p spice and edit the simulation profile okay sorry so you can delete now you can delete this wire delete okay again for deleting this first right click here first uh, single click here and then right click and then delete so now the wire is deleted now you can drag this component to this place okay so now it is here and then you can wire it before that you have to um, click w and you can wire it with by dragging the wiring section from this node to this node okay also from this node to here okay and you have to press escape otherwise the wire will be coming here so here you can delete it okay so uh, after getting every tool you have to press escape otherwise it will be um, uh, it will be a fault okay so now the uh, you can uh, type the value this is 10 okay now you can uh, next here the input and output nodes are already marked and uh, you have to simulate it okay for sim simulation you can go to p spice a new sim edit sorry edit a simulation profile and uh, for getting the frequency response here analysis type should be ac sweep here in the case of frequency response you have to select a ac sweep in that you have to select the start frequency as 10 and the end frequency as 10 sorry 1 1 e 9 that is 10 raised to 9 g cards e should be small letter wait 1 e 9 that is in gigahertz range 1 gigahertz start frequency will be 10 hertz and end frequency will be 1 gigahertz and points in decade will be 10 okay so this is the settings and then click ok so here we have to put the value of voltage source as 20 millivolt at the input side next we have to run the uh, this project uh, simulation click on the simulation button run p space then we will obtain the output waveform like this so this is the frequency response curve for um, rc coupled amplifier okay that's all about this uh, simulation of rc coupled ce amplifier